In this video, I'm going to help you get back on track and I'm going to show you three different ways to change the password on your WordPress website. The first two ways are fairly easy. The last way is a bit more advanced, but it's for those people who may not only have forgotten their WordPress password, but maybe you either forgot what email address you used to create your WordPress website, or you no longer have access to that email. So let's start out with the easy ways first, and this should cover most people. So the first thing you want to do is log on to your WordPress website. To do that, you go to the name of your website slash WP admin, and it should take you to this page here. Okay. So let's just say we just forgot our password. So we can click lost password here. And then here you can either type in the username of your user on your WordPress website or type in your email address that you used when you created that user and then click get new password. And then your website will send you an email. So go over to your email. So then you should end up with an email like this. You can click on the link, create a new password or save the strong password that's been created. And then you can now log in using that new password. So it's the first way of changing your password. If you forgot your password, now, if you already know your password and you just want to change it, or if you're changing a password for another user, this is how you do that. So from your dashboard, you click on users, you find the user whose password you want to change, and then you click edit, you scroll down to where it says set new password, click where it says set new password. And then you can either use the strong password that it provides or create your own strong password. And then to set this as your password, you need to scroll down to the bottom and click update profile. And that will set this as your new password. And now the last way that we're going to look at to change your WordPress password is using the WordPress database from your hosting company. So this is if you've completely forgotten everything basically about your login or the email address that you have, or you've lost access to the email address you have. This last method is a little tricky and it does vary depending on your hosting company. So I'll link down below to where you can find the specific instructions for some of the most popular hosting companies, but this will give you an idea, a visual of how you do it on your different hosting companies. So the first thing you need to do on your hosting company is from your cPanel or from your hosting dashboard. You'll then need to find where to log into PHP my admin. And this is where you edit the database for your WordPress website. One top tip here is if you can from your hosting company, back up your website, just in case you mess up the database, uh, it's a really good idea to check that either that you already have a backup or see if you can make a backup before you make any changes to your database. And we're going to go ahead and log in and then you want to find the database for your website. So it's probably going to be something to do with the URL of your website. And then you want to find the table that says users at the end of it and then click on that. And then you want to find the user whose password you want to change. You should see the login name or the email address over here. And then you want to click edit. And then you want to look for the field that says user password. You want to remove this information and you want to change the password. And then this part here is really important over where it says var char. You want to select MD five. And what that's going to do is that's going to encrypt your password so that the whole world can't see it. Really important step. Make sure you do that. And then at the bottom, you want to click go. And there we go. Uh, the user password has been encrypted. You can tell by this whole string of numbers, it's not showing the password that I entered in. And then you can go back to the name of your website slash WP admin, and then log in. And there we go. That is three ways to change your password in WordPress. I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you have any other questions about building WordPress websites or about websites in general, definitely leave them down in the comments below and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel or consider visiting me at realwebsitehints.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.